President Trump's plan for improving school security put him on a collision course with the NRA? I'm Brianna, and I've got the latest political response to last week's deadly mass shooting in South Florida. From background checks to arming some teachers in the classroom, most of the president's ideas for school safety are in line with the NRA. But he also said he's considering supporting a plan the group rejects, raising the age limit to buy some weapons from 18 to 21. Snapchat and Instagram users can swipe up now to get a closer look at the push for stricter gun laws here in Florida. If you're watching on ClickOrlando.com, just click on the link below. When you go to the beach, you expect to catch rays on the sand or in the beautiful ocean, but what you don't expect to catch is drugs. Officials in Cocoa Beach say they found two pounds of cocaine washed ashore off Lori Wilson Park. It's about the size of a dollar bill. Federal officials are working to figure out where it came from. If you've lived in the area long enough, you'll remember the deadliest tornado outbreak in Central Florida history. Last night and into this morning marks 20 years since 42 lives were lost. We rebuild and we go on. Life goes on. That's Ronald Vernelson from Kissimmee. He lived in the area in 1998 when disaster struck, and he talked with News 6 about saving a baby he found in a tree in the midst of the destruction. Swipe or scroll up now to hear that remarkable story. As for today's weather, if you missed Troy Bridges' forecast this morning, let's get you up to speed. Small rain chances are coming back in time for the weekend, but it will continue to be hot. The high in Orlando on this Friday will hit 87, with the low getting down to the mid-60s. You can find the full forecast by swiping or scrolling up or going to clickorlando.com slash weather. That's all for today. Remember, you can always keep up with Clicko while you're on the go by checking here online our new six app. I'm Brianna Voles. Have a great Friday.